So welcome back. Let's jump right in. This might be 88. Did I need 100 or 90? Um, this might be the last episode of this. I'm not planning on going too late. But, uh, okay, so I need, how many do I need? Okay, there are, I think I need a hundred. That's, that's a lot. I have 88. Need a hundred. Need 12 more. How, how appropriate. I'm glad it's right here too. I don't I don't really need to go that far. Alright. Um ding dong, we've read through this. Uh 100. 100. Alright. Let's go get a hundred. Let's go to some of the more fun worlds. Um the thing they have a stat page, easily accessible stat page, makes it a lot easier just to kind of figure out what the best place to go is. As long as I don't need to do anything else in the, um, oh that's the moves list, do totals. As long as I don't need to do anything in, uh, ooh there are 20 in Hyvory Towers, there's quite a bit I could do here. Um. As long as I don't have to do anything in the casino, I'll be pretty happy. Could do more in Tribal Stack, I have all the abilities now. I got a lot in Glitter Glaze. Moody Marsh, got a lot in Moody Marsh. Because <laughs> Casino, I have 10. I have more in Galleon Galaxy. Surprising. I thought I'd have less. less. Well, I guess not. I really, oh no. I really didn't like Kashino. I'll try getting a few more here. I think the, there are some easily accessible ones here. Or are there? I think one of the easier ones would be the Riders one. Plus I can fly now. It's gonna break the game. Flying breaks the game. That's just an assumption. I'm gonna figure out if it does or not right now. But I, I remember seeing a challenge in the distance in a place I didn't know how I would get there. Um, and the, uh, how I would get to, and, uh, I think flying solves it. Flying solves everyone's problems. Alright, let's try it. Wait. So many moves. Woo! Let's Recharge here. Yep. Do I need it? Do I need it? Nope. Let's go. Here it is. There's a pagey here. Oh, I think it's actually made for flying. What's up? It is, isn't it? That didn't screw me out. Ooh. Oh man. I'm not gonna make it. I'm really focusing on this. It's uh, it was actually really testing my my skills here. <laughs> no. Come on. 
Ooh, that was kind of close. <laughs> what? Oh, oh, oh. Come on. Yeah! But I was screwed there. Nice. Eleven more. Eleven more, guys. That was easy. Okay. Flying is the best. Is that a cave underneath there? Ah! <laughs> I forgot that that's not how fly. Now. This is how fly. Okay. There's clearly a way for me to get... Oh, it is water. It look like ice. I don't think I ever went in here? Maybe I exited this way? It feels familiar? Not sure, though. Oh, hello there. Oh, no. Oh, no. Guy's so annoying. Yeah. Need one more. Oh. Can I get a PG? Oh, hello, dude. What's up? I'm feeling far less manly without my that missing hat of mine. There should be hats everywhere. All these snowmen are missing their hats. And uh Oh no. There we go. And I haven't found one hat yet. No clue where it might be. Oh, that drains it. Yeah. Is there anything around here? I think I did everything here? Not sure, though. I did hers. Um... I think there was possibly more stuff for me to do in the castle. Maybe not. I remember... I remember them... Might be stuff down here. I should check underwater. What about up here? Nope. Alright. Nope. That was... That works. That works. Nope. Did I do everything here? I think I did. Yes, I did. Nope. Okay. Nice this here. Oh, this is for the just that. You think that you wouldn't be able to swim as metal Yuga. does not look familiar. It might be familiar. Hello. Hello. Yar! I wish somebody would find me missing hat. Yeah. Me too, buddy. I don't even know. I don't have the first clue to where they might be. Forget what's in here. Have I ever been in here? I'm at that point. Oh. Oh. What? That doesn't make any sense. It's way over there. What? 
That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, that makes no sense. It's on the other side of the map. What? <laughs> Alright, I'm not gonna question it. So yes, I have been there. <laughs> What's up with these guys? Is there anything here? Or are they just like eye enemies? Oh yeah! I have a thing I can do. That's an easy pagey. Right over here. There's like a... Oh, it's not even a pagey, but it'll be a pagey. In this kit. Guys, come on. Ah! When do these guys stop falling? Yeah. yeah. Come on. Oh. Now I need to feed you. Where's the laughing coming from, too? Uh-oh. I just need to go over here. Grab the power-up. Fly back. If they were supposed to look scared like the guys in the last world looked, they don't. <laughs> they just look smarmy. I think they kind of expected you to come back once you had everything. There you go. Yes! Ten more! Ten more. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, we're finished up here. I'm gonna check the lower caves. See if there's anything there for us to get. Oh, wait! Look at those platforms! I wasn't able to come up here before. Are these even platforms, or just they just ice ice baby? Anything up here? Anything up here? Doesn't seem like it. Yeah, alright. such a big entrance. It really feels like too much. And then inside, there, it's not nearly as big. Yeah. Hey. Oh, it's weird. You're also missing your hat, right? Uh -uh. Oh, it seems to have fled the, a hat that was on my head. They're all missing hats. And I can't solve the hat mystery. I don't know how. Solve this. There's the bathtub. And I have no clue how to solve that one. Uh... Probably something in the upper castle. Wait, can I? Is there something? Oh, no, I can't. <laughs> Such a janky way to limit the player. It looks so bad. Alright. Was there anything here? Oh yeah, there was. It was just a power-up, though. I'm gonna explore this entire place again. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Go Waluigi on everyone. I don't think I checked the this area again. Afterwards. Rextro. Did I miss one? 
Hello, friends. Go ahead and play your kid game again. Free of charge. Nope. No, thank you. This place, yep, yeah, we've got the one over there. The one over here is just the same place as, yeah. Okay. Right. So there's nothing over here. Might be something going up the little platform. Here, maybe. But I think I mostly completed everything. Like, these are very well-hidden ones, if anything. Yeah, I didn't spend much time here. There might have been something. Like a straight up passage? Yeah. yeah, this was a whole thing. I'm not even sure if I should be doing it again. It feels. It seems on what? It was a boss battle. It was a boiler. Was the boiler? I'm, I have a feeling that there's something in the boiler. It's just like an inkling that there's something beyond the boiler. Beyond the boiler. Let's go in. Yeah, I'm not talking to you, buddy. I'm just going inside you. Take that however you wish. Yeah. No, I did everything here. Right? I have no clue how to fix that tub. No clue. No clue. Maybe I should be done with this level. I should go to the other ones that had more clear, uh... Oh, that doesn't hurt? Okay. Wait. There it is. Wait, uh... No, okay. There's nothing there. Oops. Alright. Here's a trick. Oh, the ice music. The ice level music for Banjo Kazooie. Oh, that was a song. That was a tune. It's one of my favorites by far of these games. So good. Banjo Kazooie had such great, such a great soundtrack. Man, mm, mm, mm. does bring a smile to my face. Although this is made by some of the same people, and it's a very good soundtrack just feels it lacks something. That one was... It... Circled around the theme more. It maintained like a theme throughout. And that was... Mm-hmm. Mm mm-hmm. Shouldn't have done this. Oh, this is fine. 
I'm gonna slide down. Ooh, look at that. Is this something? Is there something here? Did I miss? Oh. That's the why I want to be able to look top down. And I don't know why they don't let me. I want to see. I want to see where I'm going. This part, they, they let you do it. But uh, they force it, even. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna check this back area. Kill the... I don't know how to do any of the other moves. This is the only thing I know how to do. Alright, no, I'm going I'm going to the next level. We got two here. We need ten more. I'm not gonna waste my time. Ah this game does have a terrible camera. It's I think the worst part of this game. The camera. Alright. Actually, gonna go tri uh, tribal stack again. Oh, was I ever able to do this? I forget what's on the other side. Such a short time ago, but I already don't remember what all these shortcuts do. Where is this? Oh, this is World 1. Nice, okay. I'm hoping it's a little bit easier to find more. Here, maybe? How many do they have here? Maybe it's not. <laughs> maybe it's a terrible idea for me to come back here. 17. No, I should be fine. I should be able to find one or two. I do need to find more than two in at least one level. I think it's gonna have to be that one. That level. Which I am honestly not looking forward to. Can I race again? That would be fun. I enjoy the race. Hello. We can't race again while the tracks are in the state, silly. Come back next season. What? There's nothing wrong with the tracks. Alright. We did- we did all the plant things. We seduced all the plant people. Um... Up there. You know what, I'm just gonna straight fly up. Not gonna use any tricks. And now- Oh! There's that room too with the camera. Hey Kaya! How are you doing? I'm actually surprised that... You're up this late. I'm doing great. Uh... It's been a very good day. Finally, not 100 degrees. It's a common complaint, but this time... I can say that... Oh, whoa. Where am I going? Hey. Yeah, how are you? Also, I'm doing I'm doing the pretty what might be the final episode of this. 
I'm doing the the catching up part. Oh, I'm sorry to hear. Hope it gets better, whatever it is. But yeah, it's this is the the cleanup round already. Pretty much done with the game. And I need 10 more pages. This camera. <laughs> it's gonna be the biggest complaint I have. Till the end. Yeah, combine my powers here. Nope. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. Please make it. <sighs> By the way, I did have Oh, I, I should I should get more. No. There is something I wanted uh, to bring up with you here, and uh, it's that from our talk yesterday, I think I, you helped me discover what it is about games that I really like. And uh, it was something that I was curious to figure out for a while. And uh, yeah, final boss battle, hopefully coming. I need 10 more pages. Which is kind of annoying, and it's a really high- You might get to see the terrible, terrible uh, casino world. But yeah, one thing that I was kind of looking for... Just, you know, trying to discover why I like games. What is it about them that I enjoy? And uh, I never really knew. I was like, I, I like games. I, there's something about them. There's something that I like about some and not about others, but I'm not sure what it is. And, uh... I did finally figure it out from our talk yesterday, and it's exploration. I absolutely love exploration. So I wanted to thank you. You helped me discover that. Uh... Come on. There we go. Oh, that's a shortcut. Nice. Or is it? Ooh. Oh, this is a double problem. But yeah, so I'm pretty happy about that. It was something that I did want to... I was trying to, like, to understand, like, what makes each person play games? It's not just like, oh, I like games. There's a reason why people enjoy games and stuff like that. Mine really is exploration. These games, like, all the other types of games that I play. Um, I like to explore. And it doesn't mean that because of that I don't like story, right? Or anything like that. Like, it doesn't make it an exclusive like. It just is, like, just is what I guess I value most, uh, subconsciously. There we go. There we go. Yeah, it really is. It really is. I absolutely love having those kinds of talks. And I think we had a really interesting talk about making a... A... Have I been here? To this thingy? Uh, we had a very interesting talk about RPGs. I really enjoyed that. Oh, oh. Okay. Oh, I can do this! Completely forgot about this. Here's a Pagey. What's up, Pagey? Hi, Pagey. We're here to collect you. Any chance you could slip out of those bars? Huh? I never thought to try. I'll give it a go. Sorry. I tried my best. Try going sideways, you daft collectible. 
Nope, it's impossible. You collected the windy challenge. You've completed the windy challenge, though, so this KG is scheduled to open any second now. Yeah. Is there anything here? Over here. Oh, I haven't been here yet. Oh. It's a laugh. Did you hear that? Hmm. No, I have all of them, so it couldn't have been a laugh. And, uh, one thing that I did see now that the, uh, autumn steam sale started is that... Oh, what's this? The autumn steam sale started is that, uh... What am I supposed to do here? Can I talk to this guy? I did see Oblivion, uh, on sale for, like, really, really cheap. I might get it. Because I am curious. It's, it's a game I haven't played, and a lot of people say very good things about it. Do we know you? Oh. Hello, I'm Blessed Dewey. Oh, it's the Kazooie bird. Met my brother, Blasto. Big Mouth loves Cannonball for tea. Anyway, since you're passing through, perhaps you can do me a favor. Perhaps you can do me a favor? See my four friends over there? Nice camera work. Today's their birthday. I was hoping you'd help me deliver my presents. They don't look very friendly. I think one of them just blew a raspberry at you. Oh no. We're all the, of the best of mates. Please give me a little pat on the back so you can deliver these wonderful gifts. Yeah, sure. Sure, Blast Tui. We'll help you out. Excellent. Just give me a little pat on the back so I can deliver my friends some pay. Uh, sorry, pleasure. Alright. Let's do it. You ready? It's. <laughs> no, it's the only move I know how to do. Okay. What? A blast and Chris? Yeah. Blam! That's the last time they mocked me. Let's get out of here, Yuka. This guy's a right loose cannon. By the way, I actually do have a present up here. It's over there if you want it. Well, We'll fl find a blast, Tui. Just, um, have a relaxing day. Kai uh, says, yeah, I was also told to I should play it by a streamer on YouTube that I've been watching for years now. Who is it? If you don't mind saying it. It's over here. Is that it? Oh. Oh. Alright. No. Ooh. Down to one. Okay. Need to watch it. Or do I? It might take me to somewhere I want to go if I die. Probably not, though. Ooh. Take that. I think I'm done with this world. Look at this view. Pretty great that they did manage to make it all look- Oh, there's another part I can go to. It's pretty great that they- No! That was a mistake. <laughs> uh, I'm trigger happy now. I- I only know how to- No. 
Now I do the wrong move. There we go. Wait, what was that? Turn, turn, turn. What's that? Okay, that's not interesting. I thought it was like some. Oh, Is that closed? I thought I did this one. Oh, I didn't do this one in this save. Oh, well, I'm doing this one. That one's kind of fun. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, come enjoy the view. Nice. Nope, we've come to collect you. To free me, you'll have to complete this course by gliding through the hoops. Don't ask why, just the way they do things up in these altitudes. Good luck and try not to look down. Ninja Flips is the name of the YouTuber. He plays a lot of RPGs. Elder Scrolls, Fallout, Mass Effect. Sounds pretty fun. I usually am not a big fan of, like, sometimes playing some RPGs or even sometimes streaming them. That's why I do actually prefer watching someone else play them sometimes. That's usually how I end up doing those things. Because sometimes, depending on the RPG, I find it more entertaining to just see someone else do it. So I, I actually do, did used to watch a lot of people that played- oh, there's not even time- that played a lot of RPGs. I have never heard of Ninja Flips though. I will check him out. 19. How many do I have total? The totals. I think I'm good with this world too. 21 seems to be a, a good number. 94. What's that? I need six more. I'm going to the horror place. Ow. I don't think there's anything else for me to do here, either. I mean, there's clearly four more, but... Nothing I feel like doing. I'm gonna die. Might be able to get some some pages in the hub world too. I think I do hear one in this room actually. Do I? This is just my head. Oh, I do. What, what broke this? Is it this? Well, what's my other breaking move? Yep. Uh. <laughs> I missed it. Five more. This is straight up countdown mode. This Steam sale actually, going back to the Steam sale, I was checking all the games they had out, and uh, they have a lot of very new games. Uh, they have Shadow of War, they have, what other, the new Call of Duty is also, I think, on sale. Uh, there are quite a few, like, new games that are on sale. I was very surprised these lo the last few sales haven't been like that. Like, when it came to new games, they were pretty shabby. Uh, well, this one, they're, they're pretty good. Even though, uh, Shadow War is one of those games that I'm, I really don't want to support, so... I'm gonna stay away from that one. It sucks so much that that's happening. It's really cool though. One really cool thing is that now 
like governments and everything they're they're looking at the at, uh, they're looking at these game companies and games specifically to like say if it's good or not like Belgium is looking into loot boxes to see if it's gambling or not Australia's into is checking it out um well Hawaii uh, sent out a statement saying that Battle Battlefront 2 is gambling and kids should be aware of that um so quite a few countries are looking into it you know, Hawaii being a state, but I'm actually pretty happy about that. I hope that it becomes... Was World 3 in the water? It wasn't, right? No, it's through the door. I hope that they do become <laughs> outlawed. How cool would it be to have <laughs> loot boxes outlawed? It'd be pretty fun. Not for the people getting the monies, but for us, the consumers, it would be quite a good thing. I'd be very happy about that. And yeah, it seems just more and more countries are lo looking into this. Alright, six more. How many do I have here? View totals. Nineteen. I actually gathered a lot here. Right. Now that I have the power of- actually, now that I have the power of flying, I'm just gonna fly around be a lot easier spot things oh what's that okay. that almost felt like it was too hard. yeah I got this one okay cool Yeah, it is, and it's been shown that it, like, people that have a gambling addiction, it's actually really bad for them. Because they're like, oh, just one more, it's, it is, like, the same thing that makes gambling bad for them. So it, it's really preying on people that, that have an addiction. It's, whoa, what's that? It's been shown that, like, most, they make most of their money on, like, 1% of the people that pay for loot boxes. It's the like a 1%. Okay, what is it? Whoa, Laylee. Check out this mysterious pirate treasure. I wonder if there's a more. If there's more to find in other grand homes. Interesting. Um. But apparently it's like 1% of the people that buy loot boxes that are buying thousands and thousands of loot boxes. It's people that are actually addicted to gambling and it's terrible <laughs> it's like uh, don't don't you know help the addiction it's and you're preying on people that are not healthy to make your money so you know it's definitely something to think about with all of this This... Did I finish the... I'm pretty sure I finished this building. The entrance was on the other side. Uh, no, it's just you. Did I finish? Oh yeah, I did. It was the boss battle. So yeah, I do, I do hope it gets... Oh. oh, this is the area I couldn't get to earlier. I do hope it's something that gets... Oh no, this. I'm not doing this challenge. 
I am not doing this challenge. Uh, that gets banned. I full... I fully back that idea. <clears throat> um... Is there anything else? I can't seem to find more. I... I am... loathing this moment, but... I think it's time... to get the next six. <laughs> In... Capital Casino. Probably the worst world in the game. <laughs> I'm going there. I ha I got a good amount in this world. It's probably kind of hard to find the next few. So you will get to see Kai. <laughs> the greatness that it- Whoa, what's over there? What is this? Oh, oh, oh wow, it's actually loaded in the same area. That's pretty cool. It's the... The speedway. This is the maze. I'm gonna die. Uh, go. But yeah, we're we're off to Capital Casino. As you know. We gotta make our pages. Oh, did I already recover? So yeah, that's why I don't want to help games like Shadow of War, Battlefront, and any other. The thing is, I think it's okay to buy after a long time, because then they already s decided if the game is sold successfully or not. So then I think it's fair to go out there and get it. But while, like, in its first year, I'd say skip it. Even, sadly, even Destiny, like, they're, they're on the lesser side of it, but even they did stuff like that, which is, you know... Activision also doesn't have that much goodwill, but, <laughs> you know. Destiny is like a Bungie game, and people hold Bungie in, a, in very high regard. And I would hope that that would be the case, but not so much. Get ready. Get ready. And, you know, the annoying thing is, each quest doesn't really amount to getting... Um... Uh, a thingy, whatever they're called, a pagey. They only amount to, like, a portion of a pagey. So, <laughs> it's like, oh no. I have to do more things? And yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> but welcome, my friend. Welcome back to Capital Casino. Even the music is kind of like evil in this portion. Let us see. And that's the thing, right? <laughs> Not to like beat a dead horse again. But the developers don't aren't really at fault here. It's the publishers that want all the money. <laughs> I bet there are some developers that are money hungry, like the player known battlegrounds guys. Where, you know, they don't really have a publisher, but they still added loot boxes before adding the things they promised. So, <laughs> you know. Stuff like that, but usually, usually, it's the publisher and not the developers. And the developers suffer for it. Okay, I did get this one already. Uh, just being back here makes me very unhappy. It looks like a fun- well, it looks kind of empty. 
But overall, it looks like it should be a fun world, you know? But, yeah. Eh. <laughs> no. Did that. How did I get so little with the with what I did in here when it seems like I did most of the things I I heard I heard laugh. Yeah, I, I hear you up here. God, what? There we go. It feels like I did everything. <laughs> but somehow I didn't. And that's what worries me. Uh, I did this one. I did this one. I don't remember if I did this one. Also this. <laughs> it's kind of annoying to do these. Oh, what? I definitely didn't do this. Okay, so this, this one blocks the last one. Okay, this one unlocks... Like, see, <laughs> what's fun about this, you know? Is there anything fun about this? Nope, I say. <sighs> it's literally just waiting. And if you mess up, you gotta wait some more. This level is waiting. The level. And these are things that actually frustrate me in games. It's the things that are annoying. <laughs> so like games that are quote unquote hard, like Dark Souls and stuff, like, they they don't get me angry. It's when well, if there's an annoying death that happens where it's like not me being bad and the game glitching out or something, then maybe yes, but when it's annoying stuff like this, it's not fun. Okay, I'm gonna focus on this one. See, so I get these tokens. When I get these tokens, I get... a thing. I get a thing. Can I redo some of these? Like this? Can I re redo this? No? really big. So I just have to go around doing these. <laughs> it's the word. <laughs> Who thought this was a good idea? It's hat dude. Hat dude. Oh, messed up. Yep. I hope I didn't do this one already. Apple. After the apple. No! Rods, why? This might drive me up the walls. I think I already opened this. I think it stays open. Please tell me it stays. It doesn't stay open. This is another really annoying part of this level. Lasers. Okay. Please. 
please tell me that's enough. No! Yes! Oh! Oh! Okay, so I, I don't get how to do this room. I think I all, I all I need to do is guide the laser to the middle. But the, the laser doesn't come to the middle. Please, please go in the middle, laser. You were so close. I thought it was in the middle. Why? Why, game? What? What? How did it? Did it? <laughs> oh. oh. It doesn't make sense. It's driving me up the walls. Why, game? Why is there an area like this? This area made the game go from okay to me to bad. It's now bad. It was, it was okay. No, not anymore. Screw this area. I, I have to play it though. I have to play the area. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Look at this. It's another laser one. Oi, staff only! Doesn't anyone read this sign? Sorry, we were just following the trail of quills. While you're down here, you could do me a favor. Not the only trespasses today. Get rid of those card critters and the power room and I'll reward you. We operate strictly in a PG. I ain't got no PG, but you have. You can have some of these casino tokens. If you clear the critters, what do you say? Well, it doesn't look very safe in there. Oh yeah, I should mention it. The giant laser. Watch out for that. Let me help you get that door open. Alright, thank you. And thank you, thank you, yep. I'll do accents for money and for food. Preferably for food. Look at that, it should be easy, right? You just go bam, bam, bam. If I do it... I did it! I killed all- Why? They keep popping! Out! Why? How am I supposed to finish this? This is another one that I tried, but they just kept popping out! They just kept popping out! This is the level that's gonna drive me insane. Oh, you- you weren't in position, Yuka. You weren't in position. There's none of them left. There's none of them left. What? Give me a token, dude. Oh, I have... I don't get it. What's... Yeah, Kaya says it seems like a chore. Did I read this already? And it's just annoying, really. It is. Can confirm. It is annoying. Just in time. Sounds terrible. Oh, that was a pun. You got your tokens now. Yeah, don't give me any pages. Give me tokens, right? <laughs> but it's driving me insane. Oh. Alright, alright. Hey, Vendy. Oh, I don't really want to talk to you. I don't really have anything to say. Oh, hey, it's another one of you guys. What's up? Pay no mind, peasant. I'm an official knight. Business to help common lizard. Uh. Oh, did I, I did do that one. It's uh, automatically made me tired. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just do it. Alright, I'm a helicopter. Yay. Flying. Yay. Will you talk to me now? 
Hello, don't mind me, just my carpet design. Oh, this is complimentary taxi service for nights. Can you help me out? Yeah, sure. Brilliant, I had more of this morning left buzz pass at home. Here's my clue. Flying here should be a breathe if you know all the trees. Got that? Okay. Sure. There's an area with trees. 39 seconds to get there. Also, this is the most annoying, uh... Trees, tree, most annoying pig one. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah! Area with trees, it's, it's, it's the golf! Is there a pig by the golf? Of course. Come on. Oh! Oh, there, there! I saw the pig! I saw the pig! Right here. Come on. Go down faster. I'm okay. I'm okay. Alright, let's try that again. Now that I know where it is, should be a breeze. <laughs> You need to know where it is first. It's insane. What? That was the wrong one? Flying here won't be hard. Try your luck above the house of cards. Got that? You were by the trees. House of cards. House of cards. Okay, over there. There's the house of, above the li li house of cards. Okay. What area of it? Is there like a? Oh, oh, I see. I see. Land, 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 land. Okay. Okay. Yep. Give, give me the gold. Give me the gold. Thank you. Okay, so it's not to another pig. It's just to an area. It's so confusing. <laughs> om nom nom, good day, Metal Warrior. I seek great treasure. However, I am currently burdened by... It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll escort you. Uh, destination, let's go. To get me where you have to zoom, take me to the storage room. Storage room. Don't remember where the storage room is. I'm gonna stay low, it's probably... Not here, right? This isn't the storage room. Nope. Okay. Storage room. I need to look for a storage room. <sighs> no. I'm not trying that again. Turn me back to my normal self, please. I'm going to collect the pages I earned with the tokens. And I'm gonna try doing the last three. I think it's three. Please don't be 20. Please be 10. Please be 10. Yes. Okay, I need three more. View total. 98. Two more! I need two more! I can do two! I can do two! Especially not in here. That area really drives me insane. Okay.
Now I'm clear from that area. I don't ever have to go back there again. I'm so happy. What's over here? I, I never checked this area. Maybe I can get some free pages in the world over here. Might be a thing. I haven't even explored this. It's fun. At least a new area for me to just go around. And... Did I not explore this? I actually might have. Might have explored this. Now that I have the power of flight, nothing can stop me. Yeah, I did explore this area. Oh, okay. Oh, I can climb up here now. This is the area. Oh, I even remember what we were talking about when we were in here. Uh, we were talking about loot box. <laughs> I need a. I need to vary my my repertoire. How they say? Oh, there's nothing up here. I just think it's a very like important topic to discuss these days. Also. It's Thanksgiving! How about... <laughs> I completely forgot. It's Thanksgiving in the, in the States. What are you thankful for, Kaya? I am... I'm gonna say something that initially is gonna sound cop-out-ish. But it won't be. Uh... I swear, it won't, it's not cop back. Um, and it's, I'm thankful for the internet. And not just the internet in general. I, I have met a lot of people about the internet, especially recently, that they have really inspired me, they have really helped me. Especially with, uh, because of my health problems recently. And, uh, so, did I not do this? Someone that you'll be familiar- Oh, camera! <laughs> One that you'll be familiar with, Kaya, is Nikki. Because she also goes through a lot of, you know, hardship and stuff health-wise, and, uh, she's just really been an inspiration for me. I'm not gonna survive this. I'm not gonna win. Another person has been Tasha. I'm mostly mentioning them because you know them. And honestly, uh... It's, uh... Who I've spent most time with. So that's what I'm thankful for. Like I'm thankful for way many, uh, way more things, but right now that's what I'm thankful for. Incredible people that have been helping me. Also, also thankful to you for sticking around, watching always. Really appreciate that. Really, really appreciate it. How am I supposed to make it? Yeah, the camera went really crazy there. Oh, I'm gonna die. I think I'm supposed to really speed it up, push hard. Ah, camera. No, camera. No. It's atrocious. Oh. It's absolutely horrible. It makes me want to eat sushi. I always want to eat sushi, though. Come on. Seven seconds. Can I make it? Come on. It's the last one. It's right there. No! No! I 
also have to mention uh, another person I met after I came back to Brazil because of depression. Um, and it's uh, Melody. Melody. Huge fan of Castlevania. Um, was one of the first people that told me I could get through this. Uh, and uh, also a very good friend. So, to these new friendships, that's... I have thanked my friends before, but never these brand new ones, which I'm very thankful for, very happy about. Um, No, not again. Not again. It was right there. I just need to go a little bit faster. Always in a bad position when I'm trying to go through. What? No, oh, please. Game, no. No. I guess I'm thankful for that my friends and family accept that I'm a lesbian. I'm pretty happy about that. That's awesome. That's really awesome. Yeah, so many people go through such a hard time just people not accepting, like, who they are. Either being family, friends. And, uh... That's really cool. I have met some people that, you know, didn't have a chance of having that. People that were accepting. And to see them suffer, it, yeah, it's really tough. And it, it's a really tough thing because it's part of who you are. It's not something you can change. Oh, this was my best time. This was my best time. I think I got it. I think I got it this time. Always in the bad position. Okay, just go through it. Come on. No! I got through! I got through! Game, you're driving me insane for this last portion. You're driving me insane. I just need two more. Two more. making good time. This is a good time. Yes! Yes. Yes. The whole community. Uh, Nikki's community is, uh, incredible. If people listening, watching, why would you be, li be listening? Well, I guess some people do. Uh, people watching, um, is this hurt me? Yes, it does. No. Just like in the love. 
People watching don't know who like Nikki is. I've mentioned her a few times. Uh, she's a streamer on Twitch. Uh, Game with Nikki. Uh, N I K K I. And uh, she has been a big inspiration for me recently. And worth checking out. She's a great streamer. She has been streaming a lot of horror stuff recently, but she does. She is usually just a, a variety streamer. She streams everything. Uh, right now, I don't know I can call myself a variety streamer. <laughs> because I, I've been playing a, plat a lot of platformers, and I plan to keep playing platformers, too. I think I'm a platformer streamer. I have a niche. I'm a platformer streamer. But yeah, and Nikki and the community has been very accepting. They're everyone's great people. Kaya being one of them, one of the members of the community, and uh, another incre incredibly great person. So I can't complain about anyone there. Um, have I been there? I can fly now. I can go anywhere. What? That looks like a butt. <laughs> oh, that looks wrong. I don't like that thing. What, what are you? Buddy. Buddy, what are you? Oh, you look wrong. <laughs> can I land? I can't land on him. I'm gonna die. I need to find the molly coal. It seems like there's a lot of stuff. I need one Pagey. That's all I need. Is that a Pagey in there? Alright, I think I, ha I have my target in sights. I got you in my sights. Um, I just need to find a fire thing. Find a fire thing. Cause this is this this doesn't work, I'm pretty sure. I can't just go go here and be like, yo, this fire. No, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, I have no clue. That thing <laughs> that's weird, like weird and gross. Uh where's their fire? Oh, I'm getting, still getting better with this, about reading the comments so people that are watching later understand. Kaya says, what even is that? And that's what I said. Uh, it's weird, I don't know. It's... It's too weird. <laughs> oh, I could do this, uh... Get up, get up. I could try this guy, and this be my last. But this one is really hard. This one is really hard. 175. I need to grab 175. And the controls are floaty. They are extra floaty for... Oh. Great music, though. <laughs> Worth it. <laughs> it does look like a butt alien, doesn't it? I... I think the stream is really delayed. <laughs> Okay, I remember why I didn't want to do this last time. I spent like 20 minutes trying this. No, I don't. No, I don't. I'm gonna try figuring out the fire thing. The fire thing seems like it might be more fun. Than this. Oh, I can hear it. It sucks that I can hear it. And I can't get it. I have fly now. 
It shouldn't be this hard. I just need to know where there is a... Where there's fire. Or electricity. Electricity should work as well. That laugh. I recognize it. Need a fly. I heard the laugh around here. Maybe here? Oh, it's on that island, isn't it? Right here. I heard the laugh. What makes this worse is that I need one pagey. And I can't find one page you to do. I hear the laugh. It's taunting me. Maybe that island? Do I have that one? I have that one already. Why is there laughing? Okay. This take me takes me to that. I've done both of those. There is a Rextro here I didn't complete, isn't there? Oh, I'm doing the, I'm doing the wrong thing. There's definitely a video you should watch that it's and it's called uh, "Why Banjo Kazooie Is Not E-Rated," and it's all these <laughs> very gross, like sexual jokes. That are in Banjo Kazooie and Banjo Tooie. Oh wait, I'm gonna check with him first. Make sure that I do need to do this. Hello, friends. Be beat high score. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna do it. It's gonna be my last quill. <laughs> my last quill. My last pagey. There's a whole. There's there are two videos. Uh. 14,000. Okay. There are two videos, one on Banjo Kazooie and one on Banjo Tooie. I forget who makes it. Great video, though. Worth watching. And, uh, when you think about how later they created the game that they always wanted to create, aka, uh, Conquer's Bad Fur Day, Fur Day, it takes any doubt that it was on accident that they did it, put those innuendos and things in those games. This one seems to have a lot less, but I, I've seen around the internet a few videos that, uh, suggest the opposite. So, I'm actually interested to, to watch those to see. Might have been thing I completely missed. Have I gotten every quill so far? I'm determined to make this my last pagey. One, come on. No. I'm missing a lot of them. No, I missed a golden one. That's gonna cost me. Ooh, that's gonna cost me even more.
I'm so close, though. No! Come on. Please don't tell me I'm not gonna make it. I, I feel that we're close to the end here. I need just a little bit more. Just a thousand more. This is nerve wracking. Yes, I have it. No, I don't have it. I don't have it. No. <gasps> I know, Rextro. Yeah, I, I would try it again. Don't don't pull me out. Just leave me in there doing the things. <sighs> Ridiculous. I had it. I had it. Messed up a little bit. This music reminds me of uh, Shovel Knight for some reason. That's another game that I loved. Have you played Shovel Knight, uh, Kaya? Oh. That was a game that I thought was mind-blowingly good. Like, they nailed Retro more than any other game has, really. In my opinion, of course. Some people might think that Shovel Knight is hot trash, but I find it hard to believe that, that anyone would find Shovel Knight hot trash. Never say never, though. There's always someone. So good. You gotta be- No, you gotta be kidding me. Come on. Please. What? It went around- mm. Oh, I was doing so much better before. No. Two more lives, Rods. Come on. Come on, buddy. You got this. You got this. Oh, I want that one. No more mistakes. Yeah. Come on. Yes. Okay. I just need to be careful now. I'm near the end. It's, it's worth getting. It's If you like side-scrollers, it gets the best of the old days. I think... Uh, 
Well, Rex, you can't believe- Yes, I did it! I don't even care. I'm ready. I'm ready. No, I don't want to play your game. Great, we're ready to reclaim that one book. Awesome. Um, think... I don't know if you ever got to see someone play DuckTales, but like, for the NES, but you probably heard that that's one of the, you know, the ones that people are go crazy about when it comes to the NES. Like, DuckTales is incredibly well made. It was made by Capcom, and uh, they really knew what they were doing back then. Another one that this pulls off from is, uh, what's it called? It's from, um... Uh, Mega Man. The level design, the whole style is very reminiscent of Mega Man. Um, another thing, it pulls things from modern games too, like Dark Souls, but the best parts of Dark Souls. Um, when you die, you lose some of your money. Money's important to buy things, to do things. Um, and three floating bags of money show up where you died. And you can collect them, or you can pass them. It's up to you. Uh, but it just grabs some of the best stuff from other games, and it just puts it all together, and it, it's a real joy. Anyway, we're here. We are here. Time for the boss. Hello! In the interest of speedrunning, can you just let us up? Look, sir, they've collected a ton of pages for the one book. Maybe we should let them come up. Quack! Stop winking at me. I'm flattered, but once bitten, twice. Oh, yes, you too. Hmm, well done on the page quest. Okay, I'm not gonna do that voice. It hurts. It goes from one to money. Great. Why don't you come up and attempt a hostile takeover of your precious book? <laughs> Let's do it. Oh no. <laughs> Let me turn the camera too. Let me <laughs> discover my horror. What? He said we were finished with quizzes. I lied. As usual, they're tiring questions. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Extra tough. Oh, no. <laughs> this is the worst part. <laughs> oh, Capital Casino. How many tiles are there? Tile match game? 16. Double curse, yes. Oh, I did that fast enough? Okay. This advent adventure's buddy duos, which is the greatest of them all? Smell you can amazing capital B and yes. So far it's been pretty easy. <laughs> Galleon Galaxy, how many pages did you need to unlock it? Twelve. I'm on a roll! Don't screw me over, Quack. Said that in a really weird way. Does it show up? The picture. What picture? That's first world. That's first world. One more. One more question. The Stinky Galleon Galaxy Tavern. Who's locked behind bars? Who's locked behind bars? A pagey. Pagey. Um, bring the... The next question. There's no next question. I beat your quiz. First try. Impossible. You've be beaten the final and most challenging. Blah, blah, blah. What do we win? Ham? Some nice plates? We're fine. I won't stop you confronting the boss. Is this the boss from Metal Gear? Ooh! I want to play Metal Gear on the channel. <laughs> but make no mistake. You'll be the real loser in that tussle. Mwahaha! I'm gonna play... I'm gonna play... I'm gonna... Mm, mm. 
Maybe we can play, uh... I forget the name. The best, the best Metal Gear. Peace Walker. Finally! I was about to stick my out of... To stick my out of office and on the hit golf course. What? That didn't make mess here. I'm Yukon, this is Laylee, and we're here to take our book back. Oh, this is a full-on cutscene. I know who you are, you green goon. You're the pair who has been collecting the magical pages for me. And now you've delivered them right into my hands, fools. Allowing you to complete your adventure has been terribly dull. But now, it's time to end it for good and complete our sinister scheme. <laughs> if you want these pages, you'll have to take them from us. Very well, hostile negotiations it is. Try to keep up, freaks. <laughs> All right. Final boss battle. Hey, Quack. Do you need help? Okay, I accept your terms of mutual surrender. Carry on. Here we go. The final battle. How is this gonna go? This game's not wasn't very big on battles. I wonder what they're gonna throw at us. Idiots! I can't believe you followed me into my personal pulverization chamber. Oh, this also could seem. It said stationary cupboard on the elevator buttons. Time, your time trespassing on our premises is over, cruddy duo. After I've made you redundant, the pages will be mine. And using their power, our organization will rewrite the universe. Prepare to witness my impressive short-term growth. <laughs> Capital B, crown-funded corporate creep. Gulp. That tonic wasn't on Vendy's menu. Let's teach this guy a lesson, Laylee. Let's go. All right. Oh, oh, no. He, he becomes B. He becomes B. Do I have to bring the bees onto him? I'm guessing that that is the case. Or do I need to go invisible? Ah, oh, come on. I don't know what to do. What do I do to destroy bees? I don't have anything. I can do this. I can run away from them. Will they still hit me. There's not much I can do. Is there something I can do? Am I completely missing it? Um. Um.
Uh, move info. I could sonar blast it. I could super sonar blast it. Yeah, yeah. All right, capital B. Dispelled. Oh, I need to be faster. Okay, I got it. Yeah. What are you gonna do now? Punk. Oh, same thing. Yeah, I don't like the position. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was thinking hit the B-bomb in midair, but I it's just use the thing. Oh! That didn't work. I think this is all? Ouch! Right in my stocks and chairs. Whack, you foul fool! Send me up a corplet back up. And whatever you do, don't get the corplet crates mixed with the ammo crates. Well, that's phase one. They're on their way, sir, fresh off the production line. All of them. Nope, that's not. Oh, there's one box. I'm guessing. Yep. Come on. I'll make him do it. I'll make him pull it up. No! No! I have to do... I'm not happy about that. I have to redo the whole fight again? Now that I know what to do in this part, it becomes kind of boring. I think an interesting thing, because it's not hard, that's the thing, like, it's not a challenge. I guess it should be, but once you know what you're doing, this first part isn't a challenge. Because of that. Because, like, it's in the problem solving where the challenge is, with that, this first part. They should have made it so after you die, you only have to do this part once. Just like in, um... Hat in Time, they changed the boss battle if you died mid-boss battle, like, in the later stage. So that you don't have to do the repetitive parts over and over again. Which I thought was genius. I had never seen that done before. Because yeah, like, if the point of your battle is not straight up skill, but just learning the patterns, and it's something that isn't hard anymore after you learn the patterns, then there's no point to keep in keeping it Uh, a challenge in the same way. I don't think I've been hit once yet. How many times do I have to hit him? Oh, 
fun. Getting close range actually makes it a lot harder. I, I thought Hat in Time was a great, great game. They did such a good job with that game. And it's very cool. It's it's a much newer team. Like this one has a pedigree. This one has like a whole history behind them. So they tried calling back with this game. But uh Hat in Time completely outclasses these guys. I'm sorry. And I, that's the thing, like nothing against these guys. They made a game, how they knew how to make it. It just didn't come together as well. How many times? <laughs> Talking like Christopher Walken there. How many times do I, do I have to do this? <laughs> this is also really boring. Like, I'm hitting him over and over, over and over. Time to take this boardroom struggle to the next level. Quack, activate the wall and roof lasers. Okay, and the buttons all look so similar. Fuck you, bird brain! Oops, um... I think I hear the phone ringing, I best go answer it! Okay, what are we doing now? Whoa, why is the camera going weird? Oh, it became a Bowser fight? <laughs> oh, I can't hurt him while I'm doing that, I guess. Run, not now! What? This camera's atrocious. Why is it putting him behind the camera? <laughs> and it doesn't let me turn it. It doesn't let me turn the camera. You keep the boss in front of the camera game. <laughs> Come on. Grr, time to invest in more toxic ooze and increase your shareholding in pain. All right. I mean, that's fine. Oh crap! That's a, that's a tough combo. I like that <laughs> I'm automatically going to his groin to, like, beat him. Alright. I think this is it. This is uh, rule of three, right? Is it now? Two bees. If I have to redo this whole fight. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. This is the most annoying. boss fight I've ever played. This is just annoying, it's not really fun. It's repetitive. That second part, you just gotta hit him a hundred times. It, it just isn't fun. So I'm sorry, Platonic guys, you made a bad boss fight for your final boss fight. This is what it's culminating in? I'm sorry, this, this is terrible. <laughs> uh. 
these corplets don't do anything. Like, as soon as you know what you're doing. Like, why am I not getting the plant? Okay. Where are you going? Oh, I'm gonna open this up. Fly away, B-Man. Not Batman. Batman is way better than us. Okay. Yeah, I know, right? Grab him by the tail and spin him around. That would be great. If this just became Mario 64, that would be way better. <laughs> and that's the thing, right? I don't, I don't think... I think even fanboys of old-timey Rare aren't happy with it, because I'm one of them. I love my Banjo-Kazooies. I loved Killer Instinct as a kid. That was one of the first games I ever played. Killer Instinct. Man, that was a fighting game. On the NES, SNES. Love that. But this... How far have they fallen? <laughs> game's terrible. It has its good moments, I won't deny. I've played through some parts of it and enjoyed it. The game's not for me though. I'm sure some people enjoy it. How many times do I have to hit you, dude? I have no indication that maybe I should be doing something else. Like, I, I just keep running around, doing this. <laughs> oh no, not you too, Kaya. Be gone, B man. <laughs> oh no. The puns. Alright. This is actually hard because it doesn't give you enough time. This first part's pretty easy. Just jumping around, doing his thing. The camera's nonsense. It's sad that you get to see the worst parts of the game in this final boss battle as well. The camera being all weird. Like, the repetitive, like, uncreative parts. Come on, jump on me. I messed up. No, there's enough time. There's enough time. I had... I, it felt earlier that if they didn't give you enough time, but they do. So I can't hold that against them. I feel that if I'm going to complain about something, I gotta be fair. And saying that they don't give you enough time there, not fair. They did give me enough time. That's the big thing, but I try to do- I'm, obviously I'm not always perfect with it, but I try to be fair as much as I can because as much as like I might not like this game, people put a lot of work into this. I'm hoping this is the last. 
and you make it smaller. Capital B. Nope, I'm gonna get hurt by the bees. No! No! That it? That it? Screw you. It's just not enough time. Come on. That's it, right? Time for the capital to soar and release some explosive equity. You types never learn. You always end up talk taking yourselves down. What are we doing? What are we doing? Ew. <laughs> it's gross. Alright. What's the deal with this thing? Okay. What is the deal with this thing? I'm gonna have to do this boss again, on it. Another thing that, like, not just me complaining, but I guess I can talk about boss fights a little bit. One thing that a good boss fight does is that it uses things that you've learned before. Bad boss fight doesn't. In that situation, this bad boss fight is bad because it throws brand new things at you. Like, for example, the bees, they're completely optional for you to find. I don't think I've... I think I found it once in my first playthrough. Like, bees that follow you like this. Um... Never have I seen explosive beehives. Um... And... Also... I have never seen that missile at the end. Never seen it. No clue how to deal with it. You're throwing brand new things in a part of the game that is incredibly high stakes because it makes you replay the entire part for something you have no clue how to do. The best games teach you everything and they remix it in the boss, but it's everything you've already learned. It just uses what you've learned in new ways. And that's the bo best boss. Yeah, sure, I know the moves. I have no idea how to deal with a missile. No idea. No clue. That is brand new territory for me. I don't remember dealing with missiles earlier in the game. Another, I'll use every single game I've play every single platformer I've played to, to exemplify that. Bowser, the first time you play him, it's, he is very explicit in what you have to do. He tells you, please don't grab me by my tail, or something like that. I remember that. Uh, Sunshine, the final boss. I'll, I'll even use final boss. He uses something you learn how to do in one of the first boss encounters. Which was to use the... Which were, um... Using rockets, using your water pack... Uh, even, I think, dodging the, the rockets that Bowser Jr. throws at you.
Yeah, invisible is a good is a good idea. My other theory for that part of the boss fight is uh, flying behind him and making the making the rocket hit him while trying to hit us. That's my other theory for that part. Now I'm playing sloppy. I'm playing com completely sloppy and I know it. I'm just... <laughs> tired of this game. And it's crap. I might as well kill me, kill me. Invisible's a good idea. Uh, I think flying behind him might work. Um, I think that's it. I don't have anything else. I could possibly deal with him missing. Come on! What? <laughs> <laughs> All right, no, sure, fine, whatever, whatever. I'll get out of your way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it might. I'm actually kind of leaning towards your invisible idea because you have so little control when you're when you're um, doing uh, when you're flying around. To aim yourself behind him, that would be terrible if they actually made made me do that. But uh, invisible might be the better option. I need to hit him before he throws the second one. I don't understand why I have to hit him so many times. I should count how many times. Hopefully I don't have to because I won't play this part again, but... So annoying. All right. <laughs> of all games, of all games to frustrate me, this is the one. <laughs> it's pretty funny. All right. Oh, I can move around. Interesting. I could kill myself accidentally there. It should be one, like, a round per breakthrough of the ground. Instead of being like two in some case. Is it?
I'm worried I'm not going to have enough lives to experiment. I like this. I don't have to worry too much. I have one life. Yeah, I know, I know. Just skip, skip this, please. Wrong thing! <laughs> I'm looking it up. <laughs> I'm not... I'm not wasting my time. I'm good not... <laughs> Um, this is not fun. I'm sorry. It's really annoying. Final boss. Ugh. B capital B. Ba 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 ba. Stage 4, capital B boss fight, uh, stage 3... Okay, so it is... So it says, um... One of the missiles... When missiles are airborne, take flight yourself and fly behind capital B. The missiles will fly into him. I was doing that, but it's... So, it is flying behind him and waiting for the missile to hit. But the missiles seem to go in him. <laughs> you probably saw that too. <laughs> That's really annoying. Okay, so... Yay. <laughs> anyway, Kaya, do you have anything you want to talk about? Because this boss fight is long. And... <laughs> we have a lot of time. Anything about games in general, about this game. Uh, any other games? Even maybe games that aren't... Uh, platformers, but you wouldn't actually enjoy seeing me play anything like that. Uh, even maybe non-related game things. <laughs> Food. Uh, movies. I'm kind of focused here, so like to start a conversation is a little bit off the book for me. But I'll gladly join in on something. Because I don't want to lose any unnecessary hearts, or butterflies, or whatever. 
on this. Hey guys. Nice. Okay, I guess that is easier. Yeah, this is way easier. Guess it makes it a little bit less annoying, but doesn't make it any better of a boss fight. <laughs> back here. There we go. That was a lot faster because I was hitting more than one at once. That was a weird sentence. Uh, like I said, I work out how to use my PS4 controller on Steam with my laptop. Yeah, that's what I'm doing too. Um... Are you using any third party, or did you actually find out a way to do it with, uh, with Steam itself? Like, make it compatible with Steam? Because I'm using a, a software called uh, DS4 Windows, which uh, I've actually found very useful. It lets you use the, the pad, the, you know, the touchpad, as a mouse. It's this little touchpad, uh, trackpad. So I, I use that sometimes. Find it very useful. But yeah, if you found a native way to make it work with Steam, let me know. That's really useful. I also I was also very interested in the Steam controller. It looks very interesting how like it's a touchpad. For the left, uh, for the uh, left uh, analog stick instead of right, so it lets you play games that would usually require a mouse, but on a controller. I thought that was interesting. I wanted to try that out to see how well it actually did that. It's great that also a lot of games are all, um, adding native support to to P, uh, PS4 controllers on PC. Um, Witcher 3 was one of the first ones to do it. Of course Witcher 3 was. They, they're one of the best. CD Projekt is one of the best developers out there nowadays. Like, it even gives you PlayStation prompts and so on. Uh, it says, you can load a config in-game made by people for the- Oh yeah, I did see that! It's- it is through like a Steam Workshop type thing, where it lets you create custom controls. I do remember seeing that. I think that's what you're talking about, right? I thought I had it there. How many lives do I have? I'm good. Okay. As long as I make it work, like on this jump. Alright. Wasn't good, but it works. 
This is it, right? Yeah. Okay, I have enough life. Here we go, here we go. Yeah, I completely forgot the, the ability to do that. circles here until I are you serious <laughs> gotcha got him once All right. I need a recharge hopefully I have enough time Please be just three. One, two. No! This boss fight is evil. How many more of these do I have to do? Let's go! Mercy. Got him! I didn't I didn't even mean to get him there. <laughs> Job, you numbskulls. And a poor job at that, Mr. B. The board aren't going to be happy with your performance at all. I should report you. No, wait. I can still win. Don't grasp me up. Hold on. I thought Capital B was a boss around here. Oh, please don't tell me there's another boss fight. Oh, he's but a cog in the machine. I'm here to monitor the key facts and trivia and then present them to the real bosses in easy to digest bullet point form. That explains the quiz questions. Anyway, the time for talk is over. Feather figure features. Oh, yeah. We'll be taking our book now. Yep. You fools! You have no idea of its true purpose! When Vile gets their hand on it, we'll rule the world.
Quiet, Mr. B. Remember... Whoa, why is he spinning like that? Oh, it is contract not to disclose secret information to non-employees. No matter. We'll be taking back the one book now and ending your adventure permanently. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Hello, this is my first aid room. Blasto, what are you doing here? I've got myself well stuck in my throat. Need assistance. Alright, we know what to do here. Oh no, here it comes. Oh, we didn't have to do that. Oh. Nice. You crazy cannon. We were about to wallop that duck and find out all about their secret organization. Phew! Much better now, thanks! No harm done, Blasto. At least we finally reclaimed Laylee's book and ended Ivory Tower's evil scheme for good. That magic book is going straight in the safe where I when I get home, it'll only be appreciate in value. Come on everyone, let's get back to Shipwreck Creek and celebrate. Okay, there's not another boss battle. <laughs> Alright, that's the end of Ukulele. We'll see their little party. Hopefully there's some melons. Just like in Banjo Kazooie. Oh, this is a good song. This is one of my favorite songs in this game. Om nom nom, a grand party, you young warrior. Om nom nom, would thou mind embarking on a noble quest for more cake? I think you've had enough. No, no, let's not argue. We're all here to celebrate the heroic acts of Brave Blasto. Yes, very brave. That loose cannon almost blew our heads off. One quest, fellas! Question, fellas, what exactly did y'all do with that unsavory scoundrel, capital B? There's no need to worry about him anymore, Cardos. Thanks to Laylee and I, that chapter's been permanently closed. Woo-wee! That's, uh, that's, well, a few more adventures like this one and y'all will have almost gone and made it as genuine heroes! <laughs> almost? I risked my neck fish finishing the g this game. Oh yeah, we did. Calm down, Laylee. Sure, there will be plenty of time to top up our hero kudos in the future. For now, let's kick back and enjoy the massive credit scroll. Alright, that's ukulele. I wish it were better. I was so hyped for this game. So hyped. Oh, I can skip it. I'll let it play for a little bit. Ugh. So, ooh, this doesn't look good. Are you leaving the name in the in front of your people? Mm, this looks like a bug. A bug in the credits. Steve Burke, Grant Kirkhope, and David Wise. Great job, guys. What an incredible soundtrack. I really like it. Really like it. Um... Well, yeah, I hope for so much more when they came out with the Kickstarter, they started showing things that looked so promising. But the biggest problem with it are technical, not that many creative. Camera being the biggest one. And I guess on the creative side, the only thing I would call attention to is the casino world. The other ones were alright. They weren't anything to write home about, but... Casino world was really annoying. 
really annoying. Um, but yeah, what are your thoughts, Kyle? Do you have any thoughts on the game so far? So far. After play, after watching me play? Is this something that you would want to play yourself, or are you good? <laughs> Yeah, I enjoyed parts of it, I, but when it was bad, it was really bad and really annoying. Um, so I, sadly, the bad outweighs the good. And I hope they fix all of the problems that they had with this one and the next one. They keep talking throughout the game about next one. I know that this is something they do. They did not Banjo-Kazooie, they did not Banjo-Tooie. But I hope that they actually do get to make a second one and they make it good. My name might be here. A friend of mine uh, backed them. I don't know under what name he backed them. Could have put more thought into the last boss battle. I agree. I completely agree. It was repetitive in all of the bad ways. Uh, it was a very annoying boss battle. And I think they could have done so many creative things. Like, imagine using the... It's a platforming game. Imagine him rising in the middle and then having platforms with the spiders that I needed to hook up to really quickly. I think that could be fun and it's like a simple thing. I think it's not great either. Not a great thought because like those spider things that I hook up to are kind of annoying but... <laughs> uh, guys says I'm, I think I'm good with watching you play it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I probably would be too. Um, up next... I think I'll be playing Super Mario Odyssey. I am, uh, I think I'm gonna do that and then maybe I'll do something other than platformers. I want to play the three big platformers of the year. I think that ju that's just a fun thing to do. Um, just to be able to compare controls, compare the worlds, compare the challenges and cameras and how everything works. Um, I think that, plus, having already played uh, Mario Odyssey, I know that it's really good. <laughs> so it's, it's gonna be kind of like a victory lap for platformers this year. Um, and it's just a joy. It's the type of game Mario Odyssey is that I suggest everyone get your hands on it sooner or later, but don't miss it. Because it's... Wow, there's a lot of atoms that back this project. A lot of atoms. Wow. <laughs> um, it's one of the best games out there. Odyssey. And a lot of people say that Mario 64 is still the best platformer. I think it's one of the best. I think that Odyssey kind of takes that a little bit. But because of how people see... Um, 64... With... Rosy, t rosy tinted glasses, as they say, it was a mouthful. Um, I think that they put it above what it should be, and then, then again, I still think it's an incredible game. It's up there, if not the first, the second best platformer. And then I put the galaxies behind it, and then maybe Sunshine. Maybe I think a hat in time above Sunshine. Um, And, uh, yeah. Kaya says, Sounds good. Haven't played a Super Mario game since Sunshine at my friend's place way back. Yeah, this is actually... You didn't get to experience it, Mario going away from what 64 and Sunshine were. Those kind of open worlds that you did things however you wanted. Because Galaxy wasn't like that. Galaxy 2 wasn't like that. They were very much more linear. And then culminating in uh, Super Mario 3D World, where it was extremely... Extremely linear. Extremely linear. Um, so it was, it was 15 years. 15 years of non-open level Mario games. Of very linear Mario games. 15 years with that one that was open like Sunshine and 64. And they, they nail it. It's... There are some moments that like kind of get me <laughs> in, in Odyssey. I think it gets any big Mario fan. Um, so I'm looking forward to playing that next. It's 
gonna be a whole new setup for me as well, because I've played all of these games on PC. A Hat in Time and Ukulele. And, um... I'm gonna be playing on the on the Switch. I was about to say Wii U. So that will mean that I'll be able to record and stream separately. So the recording is actually gonna have a much higher quality. The recording, I'm going to make it so it records at 1080p, 60 frames per second. And that's gonna go on YouTube because I don't have the bandwidth to stream that. Or the computer power, I think, to stream that. But that's what I'll be doing. I'll be testing a lot of that before I start it. I won't be streaming tomorrow or this weekend. I think the first time I'll have a chance is on Monday. Um, if I do stream before Monday, I'll be streaming something else, something small and fun. Um, there's a lot of Alex's. <laughs> I haven't seen many women backing. Maybe some of the Alex's are women. I had a, quite a few friends, girls, that uh, were fans of Banjo-Kazooie. That's why I'm like surprised that it's literally all men. <laughs> um, but yeah. So I'm excited for the next games, and uh, yeah. It was, I have to say though, even though I didn't like this that much, I think it was important for me to play it. Because of what it is, how it's a return to like those old, um, old platformers in a year where we got three of them. I think that this is great. This is awesome. Um, and that's the thing. I want to back a game like this. Even though it's bad, they, the developer acknowledged their errors and hopefully they're gonna make it better. If they do, if they make the same mistakes on the second one, then I'll have a problem. Then I won't want to support them. But right now, I think they deserve support. That's This is their first outing. Um, and they have a date to had a date to deliver it, and uh, so yeah, I want to see now what they do next. I also want to see what the guys from Manhattan Time do next. That was a phenomenal game from a studio that that was their first game. Um, I think the developers, the devs for Manhattan Time, uh, was is brand new too. So, like, this is one of their first games. Um, and thank you for sticking around through the entire thing, Kaya. I really do appreciate it. It's a lot easier when you can have a dialogue with someone, when you're talking about separate things. Um, it being, you know, RPGs, or, or even food, and pizza cheeses. <laughs> and, um, it's- I still find it a lot harder to come up with topics and stuff like that while I'm playing because my atten attention is divided. And I think that's something I'll eventually get better at from doing this over and over. And, uh, and hopefully as my health improves, improves, improvers, improves, that'll also come a little bit easier. So yeah, I really do appreciate you being around. Oh, there's a bunch of alleys! A bunch of alleys. Allison's... Awesome, awesome. A bunch of Alvaro's. Very Hispanic names. Cool, cool. Every That's the thing. People from the entire world. Alicia, Alyssa's. From the entire world, Amanda's. There we go. Now we have a bunch of Amanda's, Amber's. There we go. Amelia's. I love the name Amelia. That's a great name. Um, people from the entire world knew Banjo Kazooie. People from the entire no world knew these people that are, that made the, this game. And Banjo Kazooie is such a great game. I am going to play that eventually. <laughs> I 
I wonder if I'm going to stop platformers after Odyssey, or if I'm just gonna keep going with platformers. Platforms, platform. I want to vary a little bit. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how I feel after Odyssey. Odyssey is gonna be a very long game. <laughs> Because I'm going to try to get to the last level, and you need a good amount of moons to get to the last level. Okay, we're still in the A. I'm going to... wait, wait, where are the controls? Oh, my controller turned off. Oops. Oh no, I lost control. <laughs> oh, it worked, it worked, okay. Oh, it doesn't even... okay. There's a lot of people. We were gonna be here forever. This is still the A's. I could quit. But I wonder if there's anything at the end. B. There's a lot of people. A lot of people back this. <laughs> they made millions, right? I think they, they were one of the first Kickstarter to go over a million. Well, given the number of people here, I wouldn't doubt that. <laughs> I bet because they let you skip it, they put something cool at the end. Just so, like, people that are really dedicated to watch these. Or even skip these like this. Uh, get a little something. If they don't, I will be slightly disappointed, but I, will, I understand, because I'm the one putting this idea into it, so... D. Oh man. Oh man. You know what? I'm gonna quit. I'm gonna quit. <laughs> Alright. That's it. Kaya says it's fun and enjoyable to watch. I guess that's why I come back. Plus the talks. Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Um, it's always been, been really hard for me to, like, start doing this again. Um, so I'm really happy that you're enjoying it. Um, and just for fun, I'll do one last thing. I want to just see how this game looks in the lowest settings. Fastness. An adventure. I'm just curious to see how crappy it looks, or how good it looks in the lowest settings. Oh, camera on that. Yeah, looks pretty crappy. <laughs> it looks very flat. That's the thing, right? Flat is the what usually happens, and the lighting is very simple. Look at this glow; it's terrible. Very simplified. Interesting. Interesting that they try to make like faux uh, light effects by adding this weird glow to it. I think what it is is that the the reflection maps are like the resolution is reduced, so the glow becomes bigger. That's a guess. I'm not sure that that's the case. But that's interesting that that's what it does. Let's add these terrible, terrible glows. Looks terrible. <laughs> I think without the glows, it would have been better. Sure, it would be less shiny, but it would be better. All right. That's all I wanted to do. Just wanted to check it out. But yeah, it looks very flat. <laughs> very flat looking game. Even though they did a good job. A lot of aliasing. Still a good job overall. Like, it's playable. Very playable. This. Just miss out on a bunch of effects. <laughs> All right, that's it. Thank you for sticking around, Kaya. Uh, so yeah, I'll be back on Monday. If I do come back earlier, something random. But yeah, that's it. Ah, uh, the bees came back. <laughs> We're last hurrah. All right, save and quit. Alright, see you on the next time. Yeah, like, it's playable, very playable. Just miss out on a bunch of effects. Alright, that's it. Thank you for sticking around, Kaya. 
Uh, so yeah, I'll be back on Monday if I do come back earlier. Something random.